Hey folks, what's up? We are looking at synergy modules and a lot of them. So there's a run of 11. In this video, I will not go into the synergy system at all. Uh, we're not going to talk about, which you can see right here, the Syn 1, the Syn 5050, possibly the Syn 2, uh, the cap, and all the stuff that belongs to the synergy system. The only thing we're interested in right now is how do the modules sound? And for that, I've prepared a lot of clips that will show you uh, the sound in the whole Synergy system, that will show you the DI sound, the DI with an impulse response, how it integrates into a Fender Hot Rod combo, and also a, uh, we're gonna hear it with the Marshall JC M800 with a 212 cap, tons of different setups, so you get an idea. At the end of this video, we're gonna answer the question that you're probably most interested in, how close does it get to the actual amp? And in this case, the Dirty Shirley. Well, we have one here. And we're going to switch back and forth using my MP switching system, which is awesome! And... And Michelle is fighting to... <laughs> there's my uh, thing, and there's the two MP switches in the rack, right... Right, 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 right there. There and there. And we're going to switch back and forth. By the way, Michelle... Uh, my Gitcon helper is uh, my switch switch today. So uh, very much thank you to Michiel. He's gonna do a lot of these videos. So let's go straight into everything in the Synergy setup. At the end of the video, you're gonna see me do two things. Tweak the EQ and show you the EQ range and also set up both channels equally and switch back and forth so you see the difference. On some modules, there is a big difference. On some, uh, the, there is none, but the two channels are so you can have two different recallable setups. And uh, then we're gonna go right back here. Let's do that first. Moving on to the DI out with a built-in speaker simulation on the Sin 1. Go! <laughs> Thank you. 
gonna go DI out, but we're gonna turn the built-in speaker simulation off and use a torpedo cap, which is a pedal that has impulse responses loaded, to show you how it sounds with a different speaker simulation. And here we go. <laughs> Well, now that we've covered this, we're going to go into a combo. If you have a combo with an effects loop, you can integrate any of these Synergy modules with the Syn1 into your current setup and switch between your combos preamp and the Synergy preamps back and forth. That's what it's going to sound like with a Fender Hot Rod combo clocking in at about, I think, 700 bucks. Here you go. Now what if you have a really awesome one channel monster amp, 100 watt power thing, like a JCM 800, classic amp. Well, it's a pretty much a one trick pony. It crunches and crunches and that's all it does, but it does it really well. You can expand that amp's capabilities with two more channels by using the Syn 1. So. You could also do four channels with a Sin 2, but that's beside the point. Watch my Synergy videos for that. Here's the JCM 800 with the DS module. <laughs> covered quite a bit now we're gonna cover what you really want to know X are you in the way what what what's up yes we have to play guitar 
And also you smelly. Go away. Go away. So we're gonna use this Baruman Quilty, my baby, um, to go into, right now, the uh, amp, which is the... What's it called? The Dirty Shirley, which is set up on the second gain stage. It has more gain like this. There's a little S switch in the front, which means uh, you can actually have the input gain trimmed to three different levels. I'm on stage two, and we're going to play this directly into the Torpedo Studio, which is set up with actually a Forton 412 cap, which is a very nice cap that they just added. And... We're going to switch back and forth between the Dirty Shirley into the Fortin Cab uh, to the Sin 1 right here with the Dirty Shirley module into the Synergy Power Amp. And I already set up something that can get you that sound, which means this, the Dirty Shirley has a lot of low end. So to get that in this setup, I added a lot of depth on the Power Amp and also more bass on the Dirty Shirley module. Gain wise, we're kind of correct here so that means there is more gain here but i try to set up the amps the amp and the module to be very very similar so here we go this is the dirty shirley amp <laughs> that was the amp. cleans up beautifully with the volume switching back to the module I think whoa they're incredibly close depending on what you play indistinguishable and also depending on what you play sometimes there's this tiny bit more probably a feel here in in me than in uh, what you can hear the the amp has more weight it's a little bit fuller it's a little bit heftier it has a little bit more oh, bottom bottom punch and the module in the sin power amp is a tiny bit leaner but it's really more something I feel not something you can possibly hear such a tiny difference that it really shouldn't make any difference it's phenomenal how close it gets um, obviously it's a, different, it's a different power amp so the other thing is the amp cleans up nicer when I roll back the volume with the amp uh, the roundness is retained whereas rolling back the volume with the module, it gets focuses more on the mids and drops out the bass a bit. So if you work a lot with your guitar volume and want those dynamics, then possibly the amp will be more more your friend than uh, 
the module, but I mean, the difference is negligible if non-existent because it's the same damn thing. It's literally the preamp from the Dirty Shirley. <gasps> there you go. And links below that rhymes with wood. There you go. And animals at the end. Thank you, Michelle. But I could have become someday Father, have I lost my 